In this video, I'm going to be doing an analysis and review of my first time at WGU majoring in Network Operations and Security. I'm going to be going over my entire experience of if the program, my opinion of the program, if it is legitimate and if it is worth it. With that said, let's get into the video. What is up guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I'll talk about cybersecurity. Like I said earlier on in this video, we're going to be going over my WGU program, specifically my first term, which I recently just completed in December of 2021. It's currently January of 2022. So if this is the first time we're meeting, happy new year to you. Super excited for this year. Uh, but with that said, let's just dive right to the purpose of today's video. Um, I'm gonna start by kind of showing you guys what I came in with. Um, like what I transferred into WGU with and just kind of going over that so you can get, kind of have a perspective of what I was starting with what I was working with before I started the program so let's take a quick look at my transfer evaluation to WGU I have my presentation screen right here so um, as you can see this was my transfer evaluation for the network operations and security program which was anticipated to start um, on July 1st 2021 which is when I started the program um, so this kind of just shows the different classes that were required for the program. Um, and then, so we have the course title, the competition units, the requirements, uh, what, what satisfied this class and then the status, um, I guess the, the, the current status of like the satisfaction of that. So we can see here, um, these bunch of classes were satisfied by like, uh, classes I transferred from like the two community colleges I attended um, while I was still going to tr a traditional brick and mortar community college. Um, I actually had two community colleges. So um, I also had like my certifications cover for some classes as well. So I, I covered, I was able to cover English Composition 1, Eng English Composition 2, uh, American Politics, Introduction to Humanity, uh, Algebra, Natural Science, Geography, Integrated Physical Science, um, Network and Security Fundamentals were covered by CompTIA Network Plus. Scripting and programming was a class from my program, from my associates, um, IT foundations and IT applications. Those were covered by the A plus. I already had the A plus. Um, networks were covered by Network Plus. Security Plus uh, covered network and security applications. And I had a bunch of other ones. So I pretty much started the program at about 40%. Um, so essentially out of 120 units, I had 26 general education units. I had 22 transferable units and I had 20 and I had 72 left in the program. So that's kind of what I started with. I also had a transfer GPA of 3.58, essentially 3.6. Um, as you can see here, these were the institutions where um, the different um, uh, the different grades were transferred from my colleges and my CompTIA certifications. All right, so I would have loved to show you guys what it looks like from the WGU student portal, uh, but Unfortunately, I'll be unable to do that because I am currently on a term break, um, which essentially kind of terminates my access to all of my WGU resources. Um, I'll, come, I'll go over more about my reason for a term break in another video. But when you're in term break at WGU, you essentially don't have access to any of your WGU resources and you can't really see much about your, your profile on WGU. So I won't be able to show you guys, but I apologize for that guys. So please bear with me. However, I do have a playlist here on my channel where I've gone over pretty much everything um, that I went through throughout the semester. So um, I will kind of use this as a guideline to kind of explain my experience um, in the program. So let's start with this video first of all. Um, I'm going to make sure this video is in silent um, and then we have an ad there. All right. So why you guys watch my um, not so pretty face right there. Um, so this this was the first class I took. This was the C182 introduction to IT. Uh, this was my first class I took at WGU. Um, and this class essentially was a really basic introduction to information technology. Uh, this didn't take me too long, like a couple of days or so. Um, and the link to this playlist is going to be left in the description uh, so that you can have access to it and then um, you can watch these videos to kind of have um, a more in-depth understanding of like the of what I faced during this classes or the resources that helped me with this classes so like I said this was a really easy class I'm not going to go do it too deep into these classes so that um, I don't spend too much time on what I've already mentioned before in the playlist so once again definitely check out the playlist um, and then my second class was uh, C955, Applied Probability and Statistics. Honestly, I did not like this class so much. Um, it was 
math. Um, I don't hate math, but I'm not really the best at math. But it was definitely a pretty um, insightful class, um, and I definitely learned a lot from it. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to need to apply any of, any of it, but it took me a little bit of time. Uh, I think a little over a week um, or a little over two weeks, around about that amount of time. And um, I was able to get it done my first attempt. So I got this one my first attempt, second uh, my first attempt as, as well for this one. And then we move on to emerging technologies. This was also, this was uh, a little bit of a demanding class. I had to write like a 10 page essay, I think. Um, so this class is definitely one you want to make sure that you take your time with. Um, it's you, you're, uh, you're going to be writing papers. So definitely want to take your time with this one. Um, I, like I said, I, I'll go, I, I go in depth into the class in the video. So definitely check it out. Um, if you have more questions about, you know, um, this cl these classes, definitely be sure to join the discord server. The link will be in the description down below. I am happy to ask questions. I'm sorry, I'm happy to answer questions in the WG channel about anything. Also, leave a comment if you have any more questions. Always happy to help out. Um, of course, I'm not giving out any answers or anything that's going to, like, you know, plagiarize or anything like that. But I can guide you uh, to the right resources or in the right direction. Um, so uh, this Emerging Technologies definitely is a long paper. So you want to take your time with that. So it took me um, a couple a couple of days or, or, or maybe a little over a week or two weeks. I really don't remember. Unfortunately, I don't have access to that portal. That would have been easier. But like I said, all of the information is going to be in the videos. Next, we have the CA46 Business of IT. Um, this class was pretty uh, boring. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty boring. It's the ITIL, um, ITIL class. So it was pretty boring. Uh, like It was business of IT. So business, IT, it's important, but it's still boring. I'm not going to lie. But um, it was it was it was it was pretty easy. Um, not so much material. Something that you can cover in like less than a week. Um, so that was definitely a good one. Uh, then we have this one. So I finished two classes in this one. So cloud foundations and web development foundations. So cloud foundations was the AWS cloud practitioner. So this was definitely a good introduction to cloud, um, which you're gonna be hearing me talk about a lot on the channel this year. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Um, and also I switched my major from bachelors of uh, network operations to cloud computing. And I'll be doing a video about that uh, later on. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So cloud foundations, this one took me about 12 days. I remember vividly, really, really interesting class. Uh, because of the AWS certification and then web development foundations. This was the very first one that I had to have two attempts, two attempts for, um, definitely wasn't fun. Um, I hope they changed the structure of this class cause it was just all over the place. Like I said, I go over more of these things in the video. So definitely check the videos out to learn more about my experiences, my grueling experiences in this classes. Um, moving forward, we have ethics and technology. This was a really easy class. It took me less than 24 hours. Um, it's just like common sense, like, what is good? What is bad? Should you be doing this? Should you not be doing this? Um, so definitely a good one for that. And then finally, I had C768, which is technical communication. This one, it was kind of fun and not fun. I I was waiting over my head over in this one. Um, I spent way too, way too much time, like over a month on this one because um, I was just overthinking it. Um, it's like three papers. So uh, you have to write like three papers and then like it's, yeah, you have to do different things. Like the final paper is like a presentation where you actually like, have to like actually like film yourself presenting something. So if you need pointers for any of these classes, definitely reach out in the Discord. I'm happy to help. Um, but I go into into details of these classes in the videos. So definitely check them out. So in terms of my entire experience um, of the program, it was definitely fun. I'm not gonna lie, like it was really really interesting. I'm kind of having that self paced, um, that self paced kind of feel to it, whereby I can start a class at any time. And anytime I I'm ready, if I feel ready for the class, I can take an assessment for the for the class and pretty much like if I pass, I am able to move forward. It's a lot more. It's a lot better than the um, brick and mortar traditional college, whereby you're spending sixteen weeks, eight weeks um, on classes, um, and it's like the 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 lectures are like really spread out. Um, this one also kind of teaches you how to learn on your own, which is really really important in like the tech field or IT field or whatever area you're in. So um, definitely. Um, um, it helps you really build that skill of like learning on your own because you're gonna be learning on your own a lot. So um, that definitely helped me build that a lot because I've been doing that a lot on my own. So it's definitely a skill that help it helps you build. Um, also, one of the great thing about the program is also like program mentor. So I had a really really great program mentor. Shout out to David. Um, he was really really amazing. He always kept tabs. Um, and it, it wasn't like in a monitoring way. It wasn't in a way where it was like doting or it was like uh really really disturbing. Like we set a uh pace to speak 
weekly and every single time you know we just ask like for a status report report um of like my current classes you know how things are going and maybe if i was slacking or something you know who just like okay say who would show me okay maybe you should break it down into like three tasks right maybe by the time we talk next um you, sh you could try to finish this task and then we'll figure out how to move to the next task rather than like looking at the entire thing like you know from this like large chunk like break it down and it was really really helpful like in different things that i struggled with and stuff like that um and also really encouraging me and just like you know having the having someone kind of like you know continuously being there to you know uh continuously support you and continuously um, um encourage you to keep pushing and continue to continue to work on your program is definitely great because like uh being if, if you're someone who is like you know you're doing this on your own you're not really am amongst like peers or like classmates or like professors who are like you know constantly demanding for homeworks or assignments or like deadlines or stuff like that it's kind of it's, it's self-paced but having that program mentor who constantly you know kept tabs on me um in a good way it definitely helped me be consistent with these uh with these classes and everything uh so in my opinion it was definitely definitely a great experience um totally 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 worth it um and it's legitimate like it's it's truly legitimate i've used my transcript for multiple things like it's it's just like any other university so um if you have any doubts about the legitimacy of wgu it is legitimate like i it's on my resume employers ask about it employers know about it so it's totally legitimate so um if you have any doubts about it i hope this clears your doubts um so definitely great experience um however i i'm not going to be continuing um into the second semester uh, to the second term which was supposed to start this month january 2022 because i'm taking a two-month term break which is another great thing about it the flexibility i'm able to take a two-month term break um compared to a traditional brick and mortar motor college you might not be able to do that because like you know the semesters are continuous but with this program i'm able to take a two-month term break and come back in march and start start continue where i stopped right so definitely the flexibility is, is really really great um, especially for someone like me um with like how i am so definitely really great um like i said i'll be doing more videos on like why i switched to cloud computing um because that's why i switched to now so i'm no longer in network operations and security um so i'm now in the cloud world so shout out to everybody in the cloud world i hope you guys welcome me here but yeah um that's it for this video i hope this video was insightful and you were able to get the information that i i presented and um i, get, I hope it gave you an idea of like the legitimacy of the wgu program if it's worth it um and also like my point of view um taking the program as a network operations and security major uh if you like this video please be sure to smash the like button and be sure to subscribe if you need to subscribe um also be sure to share this video with anyone who you think it will be valuable to once again thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video Bye bye